Hello everyone, welcome to another video, welcome to Road Atlanta, where we're going to be doing a Toyota GR86 Cup race on iRacing. Now, there's nothing I like better than racing combos which I've never raced. The Toyota GR86 and Road Atlanta being one of them. And it turns out, it's a pretty decent combo. Now, I didn't put too much practice in for this race, and that's reflected in my qualifying time. We qualified all the way back P11 with a 1 minute 36 0.300. I can definitely go quicker, I just need more seat time. But before we jump on track, if you do like this video at any point, please remember click on the like button, and if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. So this is a demonstration of why you should never ever give up, and watch out for the 360 no scope. All right, Dave, we'll be in the mid pack here. We're expecting you to finish in position seven, P11. Right, P11. This is going to be so tough. This is what happens. Get ready. Follow car number 15 in the right lane. This is what happens when you jump in with little practice. I'm saying little practice, probably done half a dozen laps. The safety car speed is 70 kilometers per hour. Another car, another track, so there's no excuses. I'm just slow. But there's going to be carnage. There's no doubt about that. These guys in front are going to get scrappy. It's going to be all about the draft. It's going to be all about momentum. So people are going to be pushing where they maybe wouldn't normally. But fingers crossed, we're going to have a nice, clean, safe race. And I tell you what, Road Atlanta has, has never looked so good. Now we're in 4K on the new PC specialist system. I haven't got into specs yet. Uh, I'm going to do a, an updated room tour where I was going to cover the specs. But a few people have asked, so it's a, an Intel 14900K, 96 gigabytes of super fast RAM, and an RTX 4090. An absolute work of art, really is. But it's nice and subtle. I wanted something subtle i didn't need all the bells and whistles because the computer's tucked away down there that you can't see it nobody ever sees it so the case is a fractal case but it's a silent case really quiet which i like but it's huge but i'll show you the computer when i do an updated room tour so if anybody's got any questions or things that they want me to cover when i do the room tour let me know in the comments below that'll be coming up in the next week or so when I get round to tidying this room out I mean it looks nice and tidy here but YouTube's all smoke and mirrors behind the camera it's an absolute dump honestly it's an absolute dump so I need to clear the room just so you can't see the wood for the trees right now come on Mr Alonso no it's not Mr Alonso that's ah, it is Mr Alonso I was in a practice session with him he's pretty rapid And we're going. Here we go. Be ready. Green, green, green. Right. Watch for the carnage. We just need to dodge the inevitable. Somebody's off already. Oh, that was Kim that went off. Punted by Mr. Alonso, I think. Right. What up one? What up one?
but we need these guys to get scrappy. Bit of a draft train right now. I'm probably a good half a second off where I need to be, really, to be semi-competitive. Probably why, because I'm doing stuff like that. On your right. Still there. Clear right. The car in front is Kim B license, and their rating is 5.6. That's all right. Stupid mistake there. Car right. Still there. Clear right. We'll go again. So we broke even. <laughs> We're not up any. Go on, lads. Go on, lads. Clear left. Feet 14. Left side. You're in the clear left. Car right. He's still clear all round. Incident in the S's. Looks like it's Kim. Oh! Right, so we're only down one. Can you believe it? Bit of a 360 no score. Chase down Javier. Two and a half seconds. Not going to be easy. I think the car's all right. Okay, Dave. Ten minutes to go. Couldn't do without that four X. And that one X. You have five incident points. Yes, I know, Jim. So it's the gap, I think, to Benjamin that we need to look at, because Javier's got draft. So breaking even right now, P11. 
That's where we started. All things considered, that's a result. And we're at one. P10. Still potential for freebies as well. Oh, stop getting incident points, Dave. You absolute idiot. Bruno's going well behind, he's up seven. I don't know if he's up seven because of the carnage or whether he's super fast. His last lap time, the 36.3. Benjamin's pulling away, but he's got draft off Mr. Alonso that we uh, will be on at the beginning. No. Yay, we didn't get off track. Shift protection. Cat nearly catching me out there. These two are going to fight. They'll probably go too wide down here. The top three are only separated, or top five are only separated by. 0.6 So potential fireworks Uh oh Is this guy in front murdered Benjamin there? I'm guessing he has. P9. All right, Dave. The next car is Alonso, D license, and their rating is 2.0. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. Keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. It's a gap 2.1. I think he's too quick for us to catch him up, I think. Just about got Bruno out of draft. If we do catch this guy up, we need to make sure we can get the move done. What's the draft range in these cars?
We're catching him though. We've got two more laps. So we've dropped off Benjamin. He's got past Bruno. Can we pull away? You've used half your fuel. See how badly his car's damaged, if it is damaged. I'm guessing it is because he was a bit slower on the straight. So 0.5 back. See if he closes his gap. No, he hasn't. Oh, he has the 10th. Last lap. The front five is still really close. Sector one is 0.8 off the pace. Sector two is 0.28. So there could well be fireworks at the sharp end. I don't think the team is close enough to mount an attack. He's actually getting overtaken, I think. Right, let's wait for any freebies. I'd be disappointed if there aren't any. This hasn't been too bad, I don't think. If we had a bit of draft, we maybe could have kept up with those guys. Now we've sorted out this uh, chicane. No, I think everybody's played nice. But you know what? All things considered, I don't think P8 is a bad result. We'll take it. There we go, it's over. Bring it back round. 
Six incident points. Our safety rate is terrible, so you never know, we might still gain. Let's have a look at the carnage. Right, let's have a look at the carnage. Now, if our 360 no scope doesn't feature, don't worry. I'll show you it at the end of the carnage reel, but no doubt it will be there. Oh dear. Oh, I think Kim went off on his own, I think, on the outside there. Goodbye, number 77. Or 17. That's a send. That's a wall. Oh, this is the incident. Yeah, we turned in a little bit early there. And then we just got caught. Oh, dear. Nope, we'll have to wait until the end to see that. That was just in front of us. Oh, dear me. That's a hit. Oh, that's what happened. Where's he going? And that is it, right? Let's have a look at that 360 no scope. So there was absolutely no skill involved in this. It was just pure luck. So if anybody says that it's meant to happen, they're a liar. We're just very, very lucky that we kept it on the track and pointing in the right direction. Right, let's have a look at the results. So there were four splits for this race. This was the top split. The strength of field was 3,429. So we'd lost safety rate. I actually thought we might have gained some, but we lost 0 0.07 and we gained one I rating. So Jamie got the win, Thomas P2 and Olivier P3. We finished P8, car number seven, started P11. Our fastest lap, a 135.3. Not a million miles away and we had six incident points. So who was the biggest winner? Well, it's easily going to be Thomas D. Fleming the second, who finished P2. He gained 83. And the biggest loser is Kim Lee. He lost 126. So there we go. Started P11, finished P8. Safety rating loss, but an I rating gain. No matter what happens during a race, Never give up. You never know what's going to happen. We got lucky with that 360 no scope pointing in the right direction. Got our head down, managed to gain back two or three positions and a couple of people went off, which put us into positive I rating. Although I think this is a great combo. Will I do another one? Probably not. So don't forget to let me know down in the comments what you want me to cover on the Sim Room Tour. Yes, it's all well and good showing you the equipment, but I like to show people behind the scenes and what I have to make things work. But let me know down below in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.